Elmo's got a gun. Elmo's got a gun. A lot of companies like to make hard games. Is it rooted in time and history with the Nintendo Entertainment System? Or are people just naturally sadistic? Nonetheless, Run Gun Jump Gun. The name probably speaks for itself. You are a scavenger, sworn to steal your keep, even in a dying star system. The story of this game is most interesting in that everything seems to happen around you. You are mentioned directly enough that it would make you think you are the center of the galaxy. But no, that giant inferno in the background, that's the center, and it's going to destroy everything. Hopefully the name Run Gun Jump Gun is self-sufficient in telling you the gameplay. You run, you gun. You jump, you gun. The gameplay mostly revolves around level navigation. It's a runner. If I were to simplify things, that great stonking minigun happens to be an asset, self-defense, and a mode of transport. You shoot things that could kill you, and you shoot at the ground to take flight into the never-ending void of space. Now, never mind, that's just a saw. On top of that, there are atomics, collectible items that will be your way to advance to the next stage, and your ultimate source of fury. Your goal ultimately is to collect all the atomics in the star system and get the hell out of Dodge to avoid melting like in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Of course, the game can feel repetitious, so there are some gimmicks thrown in like tunnels with portals and a flip of the gameplay through water. Obviously, these gimmicks just make the game infinitely harder, but I guess that's the point. A new challenge when things start to feel stale. And just to make sure you have a reason to stay invested, the music is pumping. PUMPING! Okay, well, it's moderately good. Is the game worth the $8 on Steam, or even less, the $3 for it on mobile devices? Well, that depends on your preference of difficulty. The game's hard, let me make that very clear. You're going to struggle with Run Gun Jump Gun. However, I'd say it's worth your time if you like hard games. I don't care much for hard games, but I enjoyed this one personally, so take a look at it. I give this game a 7 out of 10. It's repetitive, but it has a crowd, I'm sure. 